All righty, y'all, it's the end of the day for me. There goes mom and dad right there. Beginning of the video for y'all. So welcome back to the channel. Did a little dove hunting today. It did not pan out the way I wanted it to, but I will say these past 10 minutes or so have really picked up. I could almost make a full video, but I kind of stopped recording, except for taking shots on this new camera that I got. It's a Shot Cam 3? I think it's a Shot Cam 3. It's pretty awesome. I didn't know how it was gonna work before I got out here, and then I shot a bird, and I watched the clip, and it was, you know, basically it's slow-mo, it zooms in so you can really see the bird. Because on the GoPro, it's like a little speck. Y'all can't see it. I don't know. I think this makes it more uh, interesting for y'all. You can actually see the bird. You can see the pellets flying through the air. You can see the wad just about hit the bird. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm gonna throw in a whole lot of misses that I made. I was shooting my Super Sport, my Benelli shoot, Super Sport, my duck gun, really long barrel. I cannot hit dove with that thing. I don't know why. I can slay the ducks, can't touch the dove. So I switched over to my A5 here, Browning Auto 5. Slapped the camera on there real quick. There's a dragonfly. If you ever hunt dove and you see those dragonflies, you know what I'm talking about. You're like, oh, there's one, there's one. Uh, anyway, started hitting the birds, so I'm going to throw up every shot, all the misses, all the hits. It's pretty cool stuff. So sit back, relax. I'm probably going to voice over just about everything. Stay tuned. All right, this is the first bird of the day. First bird of the year, actually. And watch how low this shot is. Boom, hit him. I was like three feet low on that shot. He went down. That's gonna be a repeated theme throughout the video with this Benelli. All right, y'all, there's number one right there. Let's go ahead and give the dog the head. What I do is I lean over like that and he grabs him. The GoPro kind of messed up on me. I didn't make a very good shot. He was clearly crippled, but that's the first part of the day. Two shots for that one. And here's a miss, but this one's not really about the miss. It's more about the dog in the bottom right corner. See that bird? Here comes Bo grabbing the bird. That bird on the ground is that first bird I shot. I just thought I'd include this because it looks pretty cool. So when I attached the camera, I went ahead and zeroed that little red dot on the little screen to exactly where I was aiming, at about 20 or 30 yards out. So y'all can see where I'm aiming, I can see where I'm aiming, I can see where I am missing, which that one looked like a pretty dang good shot to me. I don't know, why don't y'all tell me? This shot though, watch this. Bird comes right out of the tree, flat, flat, flat. Boom! Pause that, how is that a miss? I don't know. Then this one comes out of the tree right next to me and I thought, hey, Probably could have shot him right there, but uh, would have been minced to meat. Didn't want to waste that bird. Then he pulls some matrix move at the last second and ducks to the right. Yeah, solid stuff. This bird actually ends up going down on the second shot right here. Bam, got some feathers, pretty cool stuff. Y'all can actually pause the video and play it frame by frame if you want to see that. All right, that is number three. That's the second morning dove. You can see that they're eating corn. Corn kernels out of that field right there. So I'm gonna get them in the cooler with these other two. Hopefully we can kill seven or eight more. This guy is not letting go of the birds as well as he normally does, and I have a feeling it's because this guy's here. So he's kind of having some like bird envy or something. I don't know. We're gonna have to figure that out though. Shot behind him there. Shot slightly behind him there, but managed to clip him enough to have him circle around and land on the ground. The dog ended up walking out and just picking him up. The bird didn't put up a fight. It was one of those things where he was just gonna fall over and die. Get that bird, Bo. Pause the video. Okay, if I took a shot right now in the next frame, do you think I would hit the bird or miss the bird? Look how low I'm aiming. The lead is all right, and it's a little back, but I am so incredibly low. All right, play the video. Yep, swatted him right out of the air. I reviewed that footage and decided to switch from my Benelli to my Auto 5, and I'll explain why here. All right, guys, I am making the decision to switch from this gun to this gun because I am shooting so 
terribly with this gun. I've never shot this bad before. We're gonna go back to what I normally use and see how it goes with this. And if I shoot that much better with this, I might never use this gun again. I don't know. So let's swap over the camera really quick and keep on hunting. This is a Browning Auto 5. I really like wood guns. Pretty gun. Get that bird! Get that bird, Bo! I ended up hitting this bird on the second shot and he ended up falling down about 150 yards away, kicking back up again, going out into a different field, and then Jake ended up picking him up off camera. I flipped the camera on though, so let's check out how that went. Go down, bird, go down! Ooh, that was a long shot. Got my eyes locked on where he is. Bo, Bo, there, there, up there. There we go. Three birds just got up, but that's not them. He's moving in the right spot. He's moved to his left more. Left, like he understands. Jake doesn't understand directional commands yet, but He'll chase after any rock you throw. Here, Jake, 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 Jake. You ready? Go get it, Jake. Get that bird, Jake! Get that bird, Jake! Get that bird! <laughs> sit, 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 sit. You're not gonna sit? Good boy. You get the head. Hey, easy, there you go. He didn't even want the head. He just dropped, grabbed the head right off. He wants the whole bird. That ain't gonna work. There, he's eating the head now. And he swallowed it. Good boy. Where's my hat? That bird was here, my hat was here. How about that? That's actually a really good tip for y'all. If you shoot a bird and you're not quite sure where it landed, go ahead and toss something, an article of clothing where you think it landed. Oh, also, I smoked that bird right there. I led him by about eight feet. Hey, right here. Slapping the butt of my gun activates the camera. Solid shot on that one. Mom went and retrieved that one for me. Clipped this one and he went down to the right. See him veering down. The dogs went and got that one for me. Do you know where that one fell? He was watching the other one. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I know I missed a lot. I hope y'all don't judge me too hard. And I hope y'all enjoy the shots from this little camera here. It is awesome. And I cannot wait until duck season. In fact, teal season is next weekend. So I will catch y'all then. I'll hopefully get one uploaded by Sunday for teal season. So expect one. I think it's the 14th of September. We'll either kill some dove or some teal. Thanks for watching guys. If you're not subscribed, Consider subscribing. If you liked the video, like it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Don't mention the misses too much. Bless you. Jake just sneezed. And I'll catch y'all next time.